Good afternoon, folks. My name is Richie Vida. Welcome to Cywell Aerodrome. Today is a very special one. As you can see in front of me, the brand new third generation Suzuki Hayabusa. I've been invited to the official launch down here. Come and join me this morning. We'll go for a ride through the countryside. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go for a ride down there for some of this. In blistering 25 degree heat. Let's go for it. Roll that intro. Alright folks, look where we are. Cywell Aerodrome for the launch of this brand new Godfather, the Suzuki Hayabusa. Welcome to the channel. This is my bike for the day, bike number five. Got a big runway out there, but before that, we're going to be going on a 150 mile round route. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bikes, and I think two of those are led by Suzuki, so I think we've got about six people here, which is fantastic, you know, because I'm a bit worried how they were going to do it. But we've all got our own private tables in there, as you can see, all spaced out. You can't go, um, you can leave all our stuff in there, no one else can go near them. We've got tea, coffee to help ourselves too. We just had a load of Just Eat food delivered. But yeah, I am very, very excited about this today. As I was saying, we do the, I think it's about 100 and 130 mile, 140 mile route, something like that, this morning. And then by mid-afternoon, we get back here, where we get to go out on the runway and do some top speed spins on this beast. All being well, folks, I'll be showing you legally 180 mile an hour on this this beauty does it look incredible or what as you'll remember I was a massive fan of the last model the second generation this is only the third generation only just released but it looks dangerously impressive <laughs> and I love this color as well there's a different color there's a silver that's in there near the plane in fact I'll take you in a second show you but I, I'm glad we're on these ones because I think this looks amazing. Black and gold. Just have a quick nosy in here. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's all very well run. Yeah, there's only six of us, lot six tables, and then two for Suzuki. So, this is the other one, the silver, silver and red. Oh, is that matte as well? That red is gorgeous. Well, today we're on the black ones. So let's go and take a ride on one of, if not the fastest production motorcycle on the road. I think statistically, it still holds the record that it set two decades ago. I, for one, am very much looking forward to this. The godfather of motorbikes. Let's get on with it, folks. First start of the brand new Hayabusa. Oh. oh, actually, let me show you this first. Watch when you turn the dash on. Look how nice all this looks. The, the two analog needles will do a reset, a calibration, and the little screen in the middle. <laughs> That looks great, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You can adjust the sensitivity of the quick shifter. 
17 degrees folks and it's nine o'clock in the morning you little beauty all led lights all around let's go first ride on it oh it looks fantastic from the back I don't, and i don't mean your arse mossy Yeah, that back end looks absolutely fantastic, you must agree. Oh, very smooth, quick shifter. It's a nice riding position. It'll be interesting to see how uh, comfy it is throughout the day, because at the moment it feels really, really comfy. And um, I remember saying that about the Generation 2 Hayabusa, but after a good few hours in the saddle, it was painful. Your arse, I mean, not, not the riding position, the seat. Me and Gaz went up to the East Coast when we had the Hayabusa and the GSX-R1000RR. I remember over time, it got very, very uncomfortable, so it'll be interesting to see. You can turn the engine braking on and off as well. I'll have a fiddle with that in a bit. Ah, not, not self-cancelling indicators. Very surprised at that. It's not really a problem. I've come to appreciate it a bit actually, you know. My VFR has not got self cancellers You know, once you put them on, that they're on. And I've, I've found that some bikes with self cancellers they only have like a certain time limit. So you can indicate to turn in a junction and if, if for whatever reason, you know, traffic or whatever, too much time's gone by, you're not indicating anymore. So sometimes you could come on stuck with that because you, the cars in front of you wouldn't know that you're intending to go that way. So you have to constantly keep checking it and keep flicking it on. So, as uh, convenient as they are, they're slightly inconvenient sometimes. There might be a setting actually to switch indicators on and off, I don't know. This is stonkingly quick. And so smooth. What I do remember as well of the last generation when I took it to <clears throat> 74 miles per hour the aerodynamics of the bike are second to none you get up there at speed and like the faster you go the more the dynamics and the force push you to the ground it's so like planted well we'll see you later on when we get on the runway because we're legally allowed to do over that speed then Oh, thanks to Suzuki for inviting me to this. <laughs> this is one thing that's really bad. Really bad. I'm very grateful to be invited. Of course I am. But guess where this launch should have been today? Monte Carlo. Should have been over two days held in Monte Carlo and then riding to Barcelona. Oh, baby. Thanks, Covid, for that one. Now then I've got the power set to medium. <laughs> You've got three ride modes, A, B and C. A being the most powerful, B sitting in the middle and C, or I guess you'd use it for rain. And, and each setting within those settings is configurable. So you've got a power mode, you've got a wheelie mode, anti-lift mode, traction control. And e like I say, each one of those little subcategories can be changed within A, B or C. And I believe there is also a user, a couple of user settings. But yeah, at the moment I've got uh, the power set to, I've got the traction control setting in the mid, sitting in the middle at number five and the power set to number two. So I will uh, crack that up a bit later on once I've got used to the bike and got more of a feel for it. Oh, that was a bit slow. Me, not the bike. Mr. Chris Moss in front, dropping C-bombs all over the place this morning. <laughs> a very funny bloke. Thanks for asking about the VFR this morning as well, Mr. Moss, thank you. She is in fine fettle. It's got Battleaxe uh, Hyper on specifically designed by Bridgestone for this bike. That's got to be a good thing, hasn't it? I've got to say, I really, really love that back end. Yeah, look at the back end. Looks bloody good. 
very comfortable switch gear. I like how the mirrors are quite far away from here as well. Today's exciting folks because not only not only are we on these brand new Hayabusa's we are having a ride. We're having a ride on unfamiliar roads. Oi! You just gone straight through a red light. Straight through red light. I'm completely oblivious to the fact I'm revving this bike right at the side of her. Bloody hell! I can see her coming from the right hand side. No intention of stopping. Cruise control as well, good. Good to see. It holds cruise control, it this presentation last night. It holds cruise control from anything between, from speeds between 19 and 124 miles per hour. <laughs> I'll just stick me uh, cruise control on 124. It's smooth over bumps as well. I'm purposefully sitting there in, in the way of the potholes. It's not bad at all actually. Nice how you can electronically turn the quick shift on or off. It's got two settings of how sensitive or you can have it off. You can't really feel the road. No, I don't mean you feel disconnected from it, but it's just so smooth. The dials look beautiful feels like a proper, proper bike. Yeah, very good. It's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like never ending. It's like, you know, and you think like, oh, the, I can see you overtaking. I think, right, okay. You've not really got to think. It's just, okay. Yeah. 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 The back end, I think, is stunning. I thought yours looked, I couldn't quite make out why yours looked different from a distance, but you've got the different thing on, haven't you? How do you come out of what you've uh, She is a bloody belter. Come on folks, look at that. How impressive is that? I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why his looked different on the front. He's got the, the rear um, pillion seat on and we've got the uh, rear cowl. But come on, look at that. I like how it's got the detail of the falcon as well, look like feathers. Because obviously the Hayabusa is a Japanese word for... You got it? Peregrine falcon. Why did Suzuki name the Hayabusa the Hayabusa? Because at the time of its inception, the fastest bike on the road was the Honda Blackbird. The Hayabusa was born faster than the Blackbird. What's the fastest bird in the sky? Peregrine falcon. Peregrine falcon in Japanese? Hayabusa. She's a smooth bird, isn't she? Yeah. Just it's effortless, isn't it? Yeah, completely effortless. Come on, folks, this is not a bad day in the office, is it? Not a bad day at work. Fan bloody tastic. I bet he loves hanging off at back at bike. Hanging off at the back of one of the fastest bikes on the road just to do some filming for other people. <laughs> Right folks, we're going to do a little bit of a behind the scenes on a how we create shots like this. Have a look at this. Pretty cool eh? So it's some bloke's job to hang off the back of one of these to catch all these lovely shots. Okay, so that's the videoing top the videographer with a photographer and get some stills. We'll start doing some tracking normal style with you just behind me. Yep. Then after that I'll get you just in front of me to get a nice rear three quarter. Okay cool yeah. Nice yep. Alright photos. He's 
a brave bloke, isn't he? Definitely a brave bloke. He's got to trust the rider, hasn't he, to do this? Definitely. Cool. There you go, folks. That's how you do it. That's how you get those epic, epic shots. All right. Hope you like that little interlude. I might even be a tiny bit sun-kissed. Not sure. <sighs> Stay at this. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't have that much grey in my beard when we set off today. This Hayabusa. Sorry, I've just had some cheese and onion sandwiches, so I'm burping a bit. Um, it's absolutely astonishing, genuinely. We've just been out on a 130 mile route, a very fast 130 mile route, and I'm knackered actually, because it's been 25 bloody degrees. Just had some food, some chips, and some a cheese and onion sandwich. And then <clears throat> they just refill in the bikes. And uh, we'll be going on the runway. So I'm hoping to get a couple, at least a couple of very high speed runs on there. Definitely a very, very, very special bike. Right then, folks, it's time to take that out there it's not very often or it's not every day you get a chance to do this is it oh look at that wow We are about to ride this down, this runway. Cool. <laughs> this is the sort of position okay. for the way up. Okay. okay. Keep this distance, yeah? Yeah. So uh, just ride up on the straight line. Yep. Yeah getting up to about 90. Okay. okay. You see the uh, little um, braking markers on the left there, just in the distance? Yes. As we approach those, I'll signal through the window yep. to zoom past us. Okay. okay. When you get to the end, wait for us right at the back, okay. on the right. Yes, okay. okay? And uh, I'll brief you about the way back. Okay, cool. Here we go. Very, very weird. On this time, yep. You position yourself in the middle at yep. the back. Yep. We're going to drive ahead. And when I get to the in between the second and the third marker, yeah. You ride straight up to the back of the van. Okay. So you're coming towards us, like. Right okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then after a few seconds, Rowan will push you back again. Yep. And then. Once he's got a couple of hundred metres in front, do another overtake. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm, I'll be going straight down the middle this time. Yep, okay.
<laughs> Photo time. He's a mega photographer and all. Does a very good job. Really good job. As I'm sure the videographer does. Can't wait to see all this stuff. Just gotta wait for the video crew to go. Okay. Okay. Just It's weird, you know, <laughs> flying up a runway that fast with your front wheel almost touching the van in front. Bloody hell. Very weird. Right, when do we get to do the high speed stuff? Let's go for it. Runway. Go, take off. Go. Mm -hmm. One forty, I could have gone further. Oh, I could have gone far away past that then. <laughs> could have gone way past that. Could have gone way past that then, I panicked. You kept it pinned then? You kept it pinned till that first breaker? Yeah, I got to about 175, 180 so I... See, I, I braked way too early then, I panicked. Yeah, but don't worry about it. Yeah. 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 There is no trophy at the end of the Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Did someone pull out on you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I went over the rise hmm. and I went, am I going to f***ing stop here? I panicked and all. I, I braked far too early. Mate, well, that's it. I, I, I rolled off, got on the brake, and said, you f***ing homosexual, what's up with you? <laughs> We, that's what we all said about you when we saw you breaking that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, where were you working your break when you did it at March? A lot later. A lot later than you did. Where did you take it off? Oh, I've, I've, seen, I've seen oil tankers break later, Chris. Further than halfway down the track. Plus, if we don't stop, it's only grass, so we'll be alright. Yeah. Is that really grippy grass? <laughs> 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 Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell, Jeff. So we'll tell you when you run off. Now, now. Jesus. That was a good one. There was smoke yeah. coming off that one. <laughs> that was a good one. You win. You win. What did you get? You win. You win. Uh, I don't know, I stopped looking at 170. Yeah, yeah you break the latest, that's yeah, all that matters. Of, of the week so far. Yeah. Did I? Yes. <laughs> it was the fact there was smoke coming off it. Every, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's horrible on those lumps. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> Where did you break? About 150, just before it's it. Okay, I've been there. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> 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 
Again, I could have gone a bit longer. I feel like my helmet's coming off my head. 160, I can't seem to push it faster 160. That's just me though. Again, I've chickened out. I can't get it faster 160. I can't get it fast 160. Just can't do it. I don't. I can't let myself. Uh, <laughs> my brain's telling me no. Jesus! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shit! easily brake later than that. I'm barely touching my brakes. I'm barely touching them. Again, still chicken dark. 160 is my limit today folks I think Definitely 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 not having any more than that Oh, <laughs> oh dear It's uh, It's quite deceiving How much it messes with your mind Thinking I'm running out of space even though you can't see the The braking markers That's it folks. Oh, bloody hell. I'll carry on chatting to you in a minute when I get back on the VFR. But what an amazing day. Thank you Suzuki. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. One hell of a machine. Folks, I'm having to put my mesh gloves on to go home. It's not even April. It's been absolutely sweltering today. I'll tell you so much, it's been fantastic. Thank you, Suzuki. And thanks to everyone that I've met and all. Brilliant. 
Let's go. See you, gents. Very cool day. Nice steady ride home now. Eh? I've got to say that's been absolutely amazing. And and I had high expectations that were met. You know, I mean, that is one hell of a bike, and I love I love the second generation. This looks better than the second generation. It's probably same in terms of performance. Uh, I can't feel any difference, but it looks beautiful. It, it's got such a such a road presence. Absolutely amazing. I'm so chuffed and you know it's been the first day back out on the bikes. Oh I mean properly back out. It's been fantastic. I'll tell you something, oh I'm knackered now. Anyway friends, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. It blew off some cobwebs. Let me tell you. It looks like a summer's evening. What time is it? Six o'clock. 18 degrees it's going to be a lovely ride home where I'm going to enjoy some whiskey in fact I might call and get some bourbon because I've run out I think I deserve a glass after that good evening everybody thanks for watching today hope you've had a nice day today whatever you've been doing See you on the next one. Look after yourselves. Be good, be careful, and be kind. <laughs>